Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and yes, it is New Year's Eve, and I thought we should end the year in style, and uh, I certainly wasn't too expecting to end it in this way, because I was trying to tick off some milestones on my free-to-play account, and pulled this game together in the Tier 3 Arkansas. Um, I've only got William Sims as the commander, he's only level 11, I don't even think he's legendary yet. But we got lucky on the draw and we draw a tier 2, tier 3 game. It looks like we've got a lot of new players in the game there. And Nash Vegas Matt there is a 10 year old who's in the cruiser that spawns with me. And he comes up on the mic and I hear him say, I'm going to go to C cap. I went, no, no, let's play B cap first of all. Then if we take B cap, then we can push to A or C. We always play the cap that we spawn on and so we are going to get into this game and um, with two three destroyers in the game um, on red team i was thinking mm, they're one up on us this could prove to be a little bit difficult my secondaries i think are only 5.4 kilometers there's a bugger tier there there is the only battleship in the game and we've got a destroyer and another cruiser so we're heading straight into the storm we're going to hold tight on this corner because we don't want to go around broadside to that gun gut we want to let this bugger here push in a little bit closer we are spotted because there's planes in the air there's a destroyer behind us as well but we hit the brakes at just the right time and we are going to be patient and then just when we think the time is right to strike we are going to push round on this bugger here. He is going to give us a big, fat, juicy broadside, and we're going to knock him for a citadel. And then RNG is going to desert us. But he's in secondary range, and we take him out for first blood with a close quarters. We get turned through those torpedoes. They were never going to go anywhere. Trying to keep that destroyer spotted. Can't get shots on him, but we'll get back to him later, won't we? So there's two shots at the gangut four what was it just under six thousand hit points and um matt here is uh, cruising up alongside me and i'm saying you don't want to pull out broadside to this gangut i'm waiting for my turrets to very very slowly traverse and there we go we've got a destroyer coming in behind us so the best thing we can do is keep going away from those torpedoes let the secondaries fire to the rear and do what they can there Matt takes an absolute hammering, but here we go on the gangut. Yeah, of course. There's 27, nearly 28,000 damage in one salvo, but of course it denies us the dev strike. But there is one of those coming up, and I'm very wary of where that destroyer is. I'm very wary of the gangut having a reload. Matt is down to about 2,000 points, and here we go. Phoenix is broadside, and boom. There's 15,500 and he's out of the game and back to port. We've got one turret left. We put that through the citadel of the Gangut and now we are waiting for the other turrets to load. Now I didn't switch to HE here because I was halfway through a reload, but that guy learns the hard way not to push in from behind on a battleship. And now things are going to get dicey. We are, what's that, six minutes into the game? We're on four kills, there's three ships left. I'm like, I'm on for a crack in here. Um, but are we? But are we? There is still a destroyer running around here somewhere and you'll notice that my guns are looking in completely the wrong direction. But we have loaded HE, secondaries go off. There's the Tatra, we miss torpedoes from the carrier. Narrowly avoid the torpedoes from the Tatra and he has overturned and run face first into the island And so we are just going to punish him for Kraken number two on the free to play account And uh, I think that's about 158 159 Krakens altogether across my two accounts because I have had two on the free to play account we're up to five medals we are up to five kills but the game isn't over yet the cruiser has disappeared and the carrier is remaining we picked up a high caliber in amongst that lot as well um only on 80,000 damage but that's because it's low tier ships so it's um a lot easier to pick up a high caliber with a couple of decent salvos like we've had 
now I want to get onto this capture point and see if I can get myself a solo cap because Matt and I did get a cap assist each on Bravo cap so we made the right decision to play that cap and push through it certainly worked out for me not so well for Matt but if he hadn't been there to draw some fire and to put some fire out on those ships we wouldn't be here now telling this tale would we so I'm trying to stay within the boundary of this cap this carrier is just resetting me we're going to do a full send out there one turret left at the rear and I'm thinking oh no we've missed him yeah now the cruiser is going to get the kill because we are waiting five seconds more for the reload the cruiser's got to reload in here we go we're going to ripple those shots out there one for luck that's the confederate that is a dreadnought and an unsinkable to go with it six kills eight medals just under 89,000 damage um yeah i breathe a sigh of relief in that one i didn't care that i didn't get that solo cap because that is an absolute haul just under 1900 base xp as i said it was a low tier game but it all came together absolutely perfectly for us there and we took advantage of everything that red team threw at us so i hope you've enjoyed that one i hope 2023 has been a good year for you and i hope that 2024 will be even better if it hasn't been a good year this year i really do hope for a better year for everybody next year until next time take care of yourselves don't forget smash the like button leave me a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and as always take care of yourselves until next time goodbye